So you want to make a Hyperion in less than a week. I'm going to be going over how you can do this and potentially make 1 billion coins per week all by AFK using a few methods you can do if you've maybe 20 minutes a day to play the game. So it's super easy and it's super good and actually works. There's going to be a giveaway for 5 million coins in today's video. If you do want to participate on that, just comment your IGN and subscribe. I'll be picking a subscriber from my subscribers tab list. So subscribe, I'll pick a random person from that. I'll roll it if we hit 500 likes. All right, so how this actually works, we're going to use one main method with a bunch of other side methods. The main method will be generating most of the money. And side methods will give us enough money to put us over the top and be able to get the Hyperion. So you might have seen a video going around, or a few videos going around about it, of Bal AFK. Basically speaking, there is a slime minion farm on your island. You have a Bal pet and Daedalus Axe, and you sit there and you make a bunch of profit. This makes a crazy amount of money. Now, I have a personally maxed out setup. I'm talking like 30 tier 11 minions, Mithril Infuse, Foul Flush, Double Flycatcher, uh, Hound, literally the maxed out setup possible. And I'll be going over that. I'm also going to put my maxed out setup in the comments if you're curious about it, because I'm not going to want to talk about it. But basically speaking, all you do is just hit the mobs and it kills. Now, the battle pet got patched recently. This is footage from a while ago. So the battle pet, the battle pet method got patched. So what you want to do instead is use a few different items. Instead of using the battle pet, you're just going to need to swap that out for a few items. What you're going to want is a full set of wither armor, with thorns on it the wither armor has a witherborn perk that will kill all the mobs in 30 seconds it takes the mag or takes the slime minions 28 seconds to summon in all their mobs with the maxed out stuff so you end up making a bunch of stuff thorns on it it's pretty obvious they hit you they take damage and then you've also got yourself mobs summoned in from a reaper scythe that can help you kill us as well so just to clarify i've got a level 100 data sacks with level 100 hound and some max out tier slime five minions i'll go over all the buffs once again i'll put in the comments and basically speaking, all i do is i just sit there and go afk with this you can make around 100 million coins per day now yes it does cost a lot of money to get started and yes you do have to pay for the fuel but it still makes a crazy amount of money i went over another video going over this and i actually proved it i afk for 10 minutes i did the math you can check my math if you want to i proved that you can actually do this and it does actually make a ungodly amount of money so doing that, we're making around 800 million coins per day. So I mean 800 million coins per week, but we still need to get about 200 million coins more, and that's what other method methods come in. So when you're doing this, you can also have talismans in your inventory that get stronger the more kills you get. I'm talking about the bug blood god talisman. Each kill you get, it increases the kill counter. The more kills are on it, the better, right? And people will pay more money for th th things that have more kill counters. So if you go and look on AH. We see the Blood God. We keep us talismans going for around 4 million coins per. With anywhere from 1 to like usually 70,000 kills per for the cheapest ones. If we go up, we can see ones with like 10 million coins are going, or 10 million counter are going for a lot more money. So ones with 10 million coin counter are going for, what is that? 15 million coins. So that's 10 million coins per thing if we were to get it to 10 million, 10 million kills. So with the Blood God crests, we can have a lot in our inventory. Now, I'm going to be used somewhere realistic here, but if you do, but on average with a full out setup, you can get a lot of kills per time. It's like, I think maybe with 30 minutes, like 600, 700 kills a minute or a second. Yeah, about a minute. If you AFK for about a week, you can get around 8 million kills on each of these blood god crests, which automatically bumps the price up of these to around anywhere from 10 to 15 million coins, meaning we make 5 million coins on average per flip we do of this meaning if we had 20 on us and that's a 5 million coin flip each that would be an extra 100 million coins now for potentially speaking you could go absolutely berserk here because you can fit multiple in your accessory bag meaning you could have around 100 of these however that is very unrealistic so i want to say you have 20 is that a lot yes but it's a lot more realistic than saying you have 100 if you have 20 of these you may have okay you make around i think like 7 million coin profit per with 8 million counters, if you AFK for a little bit over a week, you can get up to 10 mil, and you sell it later for more money. But, for the sake of a week, you can make around 7 to 5 million coins per each of these. You have 20 of them, that's around 100 mil. That poops us up to 905 million coins. That means we are 60 mil off buying ourselves a hype. That's already insane. However, there is still so much more we can do. Lowest bid for hype right now is 940 million coins, so we basically already have one. Alright? However, there's two more things we can still do. The Forge and Cat. Now, both of these are super good. Cat, you go and you give her a pet. She will upgrade this pet, and then you get a better... Almost any pet you upgrade, there's some exceptions, will give you money. 
However, it takes a lot of time. Now, you can use cat flowers to speed this up, but the whole point is your AFK. So you don't really need to. You might need to use like five in the last day, but you're going to pick a pet and put it in cat and level it up. The pets that make the most profit as of right now are Blaze Pet, Whale Pet, and Elephant Pet. These make around five to ten million coins per flip, depends on what you do. So you put yourself a Blaze Pet in here, Elephant Pet, Whale Pet. You make around ten to five million coins, putting us up at around nine hundred and like fifteen million coins, something like that. Very, very, very close. And the last one just puts us over the top, the Forge. Now with the Forge, there's a bunch of items you can, you know, forge. Now I don't have this one unlocked, but I'll still go over the cost and everything just to show you what you can do. So in the Forge, there's a bunch of stuff you can craft. The thing you're going to want to be crafting to make the most profit is going to be Divin Armor. Now the issue with Divin Armor is it requires Heart of the Mountain, I believe, 5 to do. But if you have it, it requires 1 Flawless Jasper, 10 uh, Gemstone Mixtures, and 8 Divin Fragments. So if we go and look at the price for all of those, first let's start off with the Flawless, flawless Ruby. This is 2 million coins, so 2 million coins so far for the cost. Then we're going to need to go for the Gemstone Mixture. Gemstone Mixture is going for 1.2 million coins per. You need 10 of them, so that's 12 million coins. So far, we've spent 14 million coins. We have basically everything except for the Divin Fragments. You need 8. So 14 million coins plus, 10, plus 8 Divin Fragments. Now, Divin Fragments are going for 400k per. So 8 of them, that's 3.2 million coins per. The total cost comes around to 17.5 million coins to craft. All right? Or to make or to make any set of the Divin Armor. It doesn't matter which ones. So keep in mind, 17.5 million coins. If you then search up Divin, we can see the Divin Armor, the cheapest bin, is going for 20.4. 20 the best one is going right now is probably going to be leggings or boots. They're all about the same. But about 21 million coins is the cheapest one. All right? It costs you 17 mil to do. So it's around a 4 million coin flip, and you can have 5 of these going at the same time. So 4 of them times 5, that's 20 million coins a day. It takes 24 hours to complete. So 20 million coins a day, multiply that by 7, that's 140 million coins per day. That puts us at 1.1 1. Like, 1 billion coins per week, which is absolutely crazy. So just to review all the things we're going to be doing, we're going to be having ourselves a slime farm, or the AFK slime farm, which will make us around 800 million coins with, with 115 mil per day. We're then going to have a bunch of Blood God Talismans stacking up, so it's about 5 million coins per on each of them. We're going to have 5 of them, so that's an extra 100 mil, putting us up to about 900 million coins. Then we're going to have ourselves the Divin Armor getting crafted up every single day, 7 days, 7 sets. It's a 4 million coin profit per, you do 5 of them a day, so 20 million coins a day, multiply that by 7, that's 140 million coins from that. So far we're at about like 1.045 billion coins, right? Next thing we're going to need to do is we're going to grab ourselves up a pet from Cat. We upgrade that up, that's an extra like 10 million coins. Then if we want to go full-blown, we can talk about interest. If you would have a maxed out bank with interest, which I don't know why you'd be doing that. It doesn't seem like the smartest idea, I'm not going to lie to you, since you need to have like 5, 55 billion coins in there. Still, point being, you can make 9 million coins from that. Basically speaking, you can make around 1.1 billion coins per week. Now, you're probably going to be like, oh my god... But the, what about the fuel cost for the minions and all my all that extra stuff? You have 110 million coins, like almost 200 million coins over the budget for Hyperion per week. You can use that to spend on fuel and you still have plenty extra. You can use that starting money to basically destroy everything. Now, yes, I have a max setup for the slime farm. Like I've said, it cannot get any more maxed out than I have it right now. I mean, at least not that I think. Maybe we could do something, but like it's basically fully maxed out. With all this max stuff, all the stuff combined, you can actually get a Hyperion a week. Now, obviously, you need a bunch of starting money. In order to buy all the max setup, you're going to need around 80 million coins a day for the Divin's armor. That's not too terribly hard to get. It's only 80 mil. I say only, but you know. 80 million coins. Now, the slime farm is going to take a good amount of money to get started. You're going to need a Daedalus Axe. You're going to need 30 tier 11 slime minions. Now, with my max up setup, it's very unrealistic. Well, with a more realistic setup, you make maybe 90 million coins, 80 million coins a day. But flycatchers cost so much, especially double. If you have single flycatchers, it's around like 95 million coins per day. But point is, it's going to cost a good amount of money to get started. You can subtract the flycatchers. They're not that big of a difference. I mean, they're good, but they're not earth shattering amount. But basically, speaking, it's going to cost you a good amount of coins to get started, but once you have it, you can be pumping out a bill a week. That's crazy. 
Now, if you were to theoretically have multiple accounts doing this, which I don't recommend doing, by the way, that's obviously illegal, but theoretically, you could make, like, a ungodly amount of money per week. It's actually crazy. Either way, if you guys know today's video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.